Do you want to download Fortnite updates faster, like the brand new Lawless season? Well, I'm about to show all the steps I use to improve my Epic Games download speed. As you can see from the amazing feedback on screen, these tips have already helped so many people. I want to help even more of you. All I ask is if this video helps, please drop a like and subscribe. First thing you want to do is open up the Windows Start menu, head into the percentage sign local update a percentage sign folder, then head into Epic Games Launcher, Saved, Config, Windows, and inside you want to look for a config called Engine. And after you have opened it up, the file could be either blank or it could contain some text. Whatever's in there, just replace all of it with the following commands, which I'll leave in the description below. After that, just don't forget to save the file. Next, open up the Epic Games Launcher, head to the top right where you see Settings. If you scroll down to the bottom where it says Throttle Downloads, you want to try and tick this box. You can then set the download speed to zero, which will set the bandwidth speed to unlimited. Then you can restart the Epic Games Launcher, and you can then try downloading your games again to see if it makes any difference. On my system, having Throttle Downloads selected actually made my MB slightly lower, like it literally dipped a little bit. However, since I did go back and revert it via turning it off, it seems that it is slightly higher now. But this is something you can try out for yourself to see which one is ultimately better, as again, this is something Epic Games even recommend you try out. Remember to check for other downloads like in Steam or something, as they could be taking up your bandwidth. What you don't want to do is download multiple games or even updates all at once. You want to download each thing separately. Also, avoid things like streaming services while you are downloading. Next, if you open up your CMD and run it as administrator, you can then try these commands in order from top to bottom, which will flush your DNS and correct your IP configuration. Your internet might go up for a second, but it's all good, it'll come back. The reason why we're trying these is just in case your slow speeds are due to an outdated or corrupt DNS cache. This is especially good to do after you have changed your DNS too. As you can see, this is another step that Epic Games themselves do recommend and they have a detailed list of instructions, what I've basically just described. Next up, we're going to go back into the local app data and this is one that you might as well try. Just open up that Epic Games launcher folder, then into save. Then inside here, you want to look for some folders called web cache underscore and then some numbers. There may be one like there is for me or there may be two. However many they are, you want to select these folders and delete them to clear your Epic Games cache. And a final couple of things you can try is in the proxy settings. Then inside here, you want to ensure that you are not using a proxy server as these can cause issues when trying to use Epic Games as services. If all else fails, you should try the old classic method of turning off your router and turn it back on again to see if that helps. Hopefully all of those tips helped you download game updates faster and let me know your thoughts on the video. Be sure to like if you liked it or dislike if you disliked it.